just gonna change the battery on my Ninja because it died and I can't really see what I'm shooting at the moment. All right. How many videos can you make about the same footage and still keep it interesting? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm pushing it. <laughs> hey, look. It's this clip again. Yay. But I did say that I would talk about a mistake that I made shooting that video. So here I am talking about that video again. To be honest, this video is pretty much just for me. So if you're watching this, what you're seeing is a visual reminder from me to myself so that I remember to check my camera settings before I film anything. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Am I a bit too dark over here? A little bit. It is a dark room. Is this? Is this better? All right, so here's the thing. There is a setting on the FX6 called breathing compensation, I think. That is a very important setting to use if you're not shooting with cinema lenses. If you're shooting with lenses, that are made for photography like, let's be honest, um, most of us are, I think. They're cheaper, they're smaller, uh, they're pretty versatile, and they're pretty good, they're sharp. But the problem is, you'll get something called focus breathing. And that is what we see right here in this scene, right behind me. When a lens like this has a very shallow depth of field and it changes focus, that's when we get focus breathing. We usually see it really clearly in corners of our videos. Like once, once you know what focus breathing is, you'll see it all the time. In every YouTube video you're watching, you'll see focus breathing. And it's, it's annoying. It's pretty ugly. It does remind me a lot of uh, stabilized footage. When you stabilize footage in post, you always get these like strange warping effects in the background. It reminds me of that. So in the scene, our model is moving a little bit closer into the camera when she gets that text message on the screen. And when she does that, focus shifts with her. And when that happens, you can see very clearly over on this side, in the window, and on the light over here. Do you see that? You actually see this tiny little motion that looks like the camera is zooming in and out, even though it's not. I know, it's a really small detail, but once you see it, you cannot unsee it. And it's really annoying. Especially when you feel like you got a really nice video clip, and then a thing like that sort of doesn't ruin the footage, but you know what I mean. So the reason why this is a mistake on my part is because the FX6 has something called breathing compensation. A setting that you can turn on in the menu where the camera actually calculates and compensates for this shift and makes sure that you don't get this sort of warping effect in the corners. I just forgot to turn it on. And now, now I have to live with this. That's on me. And fun fact, breathing compensation actually came to the A7S uh, 3 very recently in a, a pretty big update. I think it was version 3.0 that I actually updated to uh, right before I started filming this. So I'm actually filming this with lens compensation uh, turned on. So as I'm moving back and forth, you can see that the focus is following me, but we're not getting these crazy, annoying zooms in and out in the corners. Let me show you how it looks with the lens compensation off. All right, so this is with the lens breathing compensation off. As you can see right now, we did get a little bit more uh, frame back. We got some more pixels back because when you're turning the lens breathing compensation, lens breathing compensation, it does have to crop in a little bit to make that effect uh, possible. As you can see now, if I'm moving back and forth and the focus is still following me, you can see that there's a lot more happening over here now. You see that? It looks like it's zooming in and out. And that is really annoying, especially if you're doing like an interview uh, with someone. This could just ruin the whole thing. This is one of those things that would make me look over here in the video instead of looking over here. Let's turn this back on. 
There we go. Uh, all right, so yeah. Um, how can I make sure that I don't make this mistake again in the future? Um, well, I could make a video about it, talking about it, you know, over and over again to myself, um, and then publish that video for the whole world to see. That might work. Hopefully, uh, that helps, and uh, I can make room for some some new mistakes. I guess that's that's how we learn. Um, so yeah, um, go go make some mistakes. Um, don't don't make this one though, because you watch this video now. Don't make make new mistakes. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. Almost, almost pushed you over. I'm so sorry about that.